Well, happy Sunday. I'm sitting right outside my apartment to give you this quick off the cuff video. I just spent 30 minutes walking outside, so I'm a little sweaty. I'm sure you can see the sweat on my shirt and my forehead. But I don't know about you, but I had a pretty challenging week. Today, I wanna to give you some things to think about, to, some things to practice as you try to deal with your challenging week or recover from your challenging week. So the first thing that you can do to recover from your challenging week is to go outside and take about a 30 minute walk. I just did that and I feel amazing. I, I couldn't even remember what I was upset about before I started walking, but it doesn't matter now because I've been outside. I've been able to breathe in some fresh air. I see the beautiful green trees and I'm reminded that I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, I had a hard week. It was challenging. A lot of things happened that I didn't want to happen, but here I am and I'm breathing and I'm alive and a good walk can teach you that. The second thing is to take some time to write 30 things that you're grateful for. And there's a reason why I say 30. Many times people say three, but I say 30 because that's a lot. And by the time you reach 30, you're like, wow, what am I upset about? Look at all of these things that I have to be grateful for. So take some time, get up, get a pen, get a paper, write one, one through 30. And it can be small things. I think the, the more detailed your your section or your, uh, your submission is, the more you're able to experience gratitude. The third and final thing that you can practice to recover from a challenging week is to drink a lot of water and eat good food. Uh, I'm getting ready to go inside. I'm gonna make some lentil soup. I can't wait. I'm gonna make some, uh, some avocado toast and maybe some tea and just take care of my body. When I stress, when I go through some challenges, sometimes I eat a lot of sugar, eat a lot of fast food because I'm just trying to cope. So now my body has to recover from that and I'm gonna to try to do that uh, this evening. So those are some things I would love for you to think about and practice as you're trying to recover from a challenging week. Yeah, we're gonna have a challenging week uh, every now and then. We're going to have challenges in this life, but that's not all there is to existence. Suffering is not all there is. And we can use the suffering to help us become stronger and to become better humans. So I'm sweating. There's literally sweat going down my, my shirt as I'm recording this. So I'm gonna go inside and chill a little bit. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday.